I have in front of me a 5 dB 4G uh, antenna. It's available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie. And basically the purpose of this aerial kit, it complements uh, the 4G routers we're selling with, uh, which support um, 4G SIM cards. And I'm just saying that if you have weak signal, you're able to come along, use these aerials and boost the signal inside um, your router, which can be stronger Wi-Fi, obviously, for your application, whether it's for a house or, in our case here, it's normally for remote CCTV viewing, okay? So, um, let's just see exactly how this works, the options we're giving with it, and we have a demonstration set up just off camera, which is basically, we have the two areas that we have uh, showing here, held on with a piece of sellotape out of our window, okay? So, not the most professional setup, but very effective, you're going to find in a few minutes when we do a demonstration here, a sort of before and after test of what we can achieve. So, the first thing here is to say is, if we look along here, and the two areas that we see in front of us here, they both come with 10 meters of cable, they terminate with SMA cables, and they should look like this, 90 degrees to each other. Okay, so you see the top one, the bottom one. It doesn't come with a pole, but we do give the option this bracket, uh, which I'll, I'll discuss in the, a few moments' time. And the only other thing is some brackets here that allow us to mount this whole thing successfully. So just look at this image, and then if we can imagine it here, what we'll have is, we'll have it mounted on a pole, we'll have it mounted like this. Okay, 90 degrees to each other. If we look how to do the bracketry, we'll see there's two bolts, two uh, screws, some washers, and these brackets here. Okay, so it does ma match on, and then we have some U bolts here to come along and actually come along and grip onto a pole in two very close uh, proximity locations. Uh, the little bracket we said is suitable, it just gives enough room to mount this. So it's discreet, low cost. And we can mount the first one here and the top and at the very top at the 90 degree angle, okay? So at least uh, um, ensuring the areas are not tipping each other, okay? So it comes in this pizza type box, which we can see here. And uh, what we have hidden behind is, in this case, a TP Link router. And what we have is um, a, a speed test uh, that we've already done on this. So if we look at the back of this router, we'll see we have our 4G uh, SIM card. It's from the Tree Network here, and we have it there. And I have my phone connected onto this, and if I come along and I just bring up the speed test app on it, we'll see the original settings I have here. I think the speeds are reasonably good, it's about 7.3 uh, down and about uh, 5 up, okay? So, um, so that's worked quite well. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to do two things. I am just going to disconnect these small internal aerials, which you can see here. They have the SMA connections here at the bottom. So just hold it up here, it's going to be quite clear for people. And off camera, I have um, our aerials. So I'm just going to actually power off the room here for a moment because I just want to reboot it to make sure it picks up on the new signal. Uh, what we're doing here is I'm just going to screw this in here. So I'll just show. So I'm not, it's not in no particular order. So I have the first cable connected here and the second cable I just have underneath again. And it's coming from the other area. And I'm just going to mount this quite quickly here. So there's no tools anything like that needed. We're just mounting it direct. And remember, in this scenario here that I'm talking about, we haven't come along. And so I'm just going to put the power back on button here on it. Uh, I'm just going to wait about 30 seconds or so, wait for the whole thing to kick in. And what we'll do then is we'll just re run the speed test again. So we, we've just, we have a couple of different aerials on this, just different price points, different gains and things like that. The 4G one um, is quite uh, popular on it. We have a simpler version of this that is a single aerial on it as well. Um, it's not as actually, this is a more effective technology in many ways, but the other one can be quite popular. So we're going to do that point in time is, uh, if we just come along, uh, the speed test app that we have, uh, it can just go to the app store and you can use it and something like that. And it's quite effective then for just testing your thing. Or you can just type speed test in Google, it'll just bring up that, um, the, the thing. We can just be, uh, restart the test. We can just tap it here. And what we can have is, we'll just have the, the speed here being tested on it. So it'll just come through. Yeah, and we're just gonna go there. Uh, I'm just going to turn and see where we are in terms of speeds. So we'll see the first one, and then we'll see the the uh, the upload speed here as well. Okay, so I'm just going to take that back to myself so I can see on the thing. So what what it's done for us here is it's now boosted. We'll say the download speed to around 16 meg, and the upload speed on it actually is about um. 
4 meg or 4.5 meg. So it's probably equivalent to, uh, to where it was before. Now, if I repeated this test again, what we're generally seeing is uh, that the um, boat speeds are faster, all the rest of it, and one significantly, the other stayed more or less there. But what you can see here is if I didn't change antenna, and I was using that thing, you'll always see a fluctuation depending on the demand in the thing here. But in general, we'll say, we've run the tests on this, um, we've seen download speeds double and probably um, upload speeds go increase normally by about 50% or so. The, the baselines that we've had in the past for the upload speeds there has only been about two and a half or so. So to uh, get it up to four and a half and things like that, generally kind of quite good. So we just want to give a demonstration of it in action here. Now, the other thing to note, of course, is that we haven't mounted these things exactly right, and we haven't. We're, they're still partly in the building and just hanging out the window. But overall, I'll say it is very, very effective here. If you have a situation where you have marginal signal, you can come along and do it. And in terms of if you want to complete the kit, going for the bracket and screws and bolts that come in here, I think it's the right uh, thing to do, simply because. Um, you know, it just makes it a complete kit. You then have absolutely everything you need. You're going to go and do it here anyway. So it's quite a niche product, but quite a, an important product uh, for those who are trying to boost their broadband services. Um, uh, so that's it anyway. An overview of the 5dB 4G antenna signal booster available uh, with free delivery directly from freetv.ie.